What's up guys and welcome back to another part of Tales of Berseria playthrough. So in the last part we left off on just now getting the information out of this one guard right here. Or I think that's a different one. But we got information out of a guard. So now we're going to continue up in this fort. We need to find the key to the gate room so we can open the gate I believe it was. So I believe... I believe it came out of that part there. Let's see what we got over here. That might have been where I came through, maybe? Let's check over here. Okay, yeah, so it's been over there. We've also got a new enemy right here. A little ghost. Don't get overconfident. <laughs> Also, another little, you know, new trick you see in the middle of this. guys that Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? A lot. A lot for Rokuro to go all out. Um, let's see. I don't think we mastered any equipment the last time. I don't think we have anything new we can really put on just yet before I master the other stuff. But in the meantime, <coughs> um, so I, didn't, I, don't, I got one of my other trophies for a SAO Last Recollection not too long ago, which was um, the gallery images. It took a long while and it was kind of like weird because I ended up getting everybody to mainly rank four and five because you mainly just need to get them to rank four. And I was trying to figure out where like my last images were. They There was no bomb quest popping up. I went to every single area, checked everything, still wasn't seeing anything. Come to find out, I had to get Idis to rank 2 because she is part of one of the images and the other images will not pop up until I have hers because they're, they, they go in like a sequence. So that's why I think that one took me so long. So now all I got is just unlocking all the, the uh, skills and the skill trees, so I'm just gonna get the lesser skills. Almost good with that one as well. I won't I've been improve, doing the arena method um, recently, last night. Got lucky on some things, I'm lucky on quite a bit of them. And then, because um, I think I only got four more weapons now that I just need to really do from that. Which isn't too bad, it's just depending on if I get lucky or not. So I'll be trying that again for today. I want to at least get that done before the solo leveling uh, mobile game comes out, because that comes out the 8th, I believe. But I'll have that done pretty much. Either today or today. And the only SAO games in I would need a platinum for is Action World and Fatal Bullet. That's, that's it. Most are pretty easy, some are just kind of Like the last recollection was more correct, it's just purely time consuming for no reason. Because the affinity in that game is like, it's, it's almost like as bad as like a hollow realization, but at least with hollow realization you have the heart to heart. And and uh, last recollection, you don't. And that's what makes it so long uh, for some parts. But there is a method to quickly get. But that one's kind of annoying, especially if you don't know about the whole Idis thing. And then the uh, all sort, all Watch skills on the skill tree because they want you to get the best skills, which is also a boring process. More manageable now with the arena method. 
but in the beginning of the game, before we even had the arena uh, mission for it, it was the worst thing ever. If they didn't count the special skills, it would be a lot better. For some reason they decided to do that. That's kind of almost like if you count the implementations or the enigmas in like Hollow Fragment, Hollow Realization, it would be un annoying to get. Even though those are, you know, better in terms of pacing and stuff and the actual reward, um, it would still be annoying. For any one of them if they had that. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. But we're almost there. We're almost there. And then we'll have Fractured Daydream come out, which, uh, that would probably be a pretty easy flat, if I had to guess. Pretty easy. Probably something for, like, maxing out our character's uh -huh. rank and Found stuff it. like that. Ow. Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The... the bump is? No. I'm talking about the pain. But... but I'm... scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? You like this, right? I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it. And I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these... Maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Understood. You get licensed all heart to heart with it too. Now we can get that gate open. What are the rare we moments to you see? Too. Nice the velvet, work. you know, her nice side come out again. Thank you. And you can see right there, Moloch number two, he's starting to get to you take know, care of that light shit. And stuff into right. his eyes. The docks. So let's see, nothing else up in here. One more. And then we'll look at the scene. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? My compass fell on my head and gave me a bump. Let me take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big one. Bet that must hurt. Yeah, but at least I'm still alive. Are you saying that pain is proof that you're really alive? That's what Velvet told me. <sighs> well, don't worry. I'll just push your bump back down. You'll be good as new. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. Stop fooling around, you two. We have to hurry. Once we get back to the ship, just borrow some sugar and rub it on your bump. It'll make the swelling go down. I don't know if that actually works. Oh, I've never heard okay. of... I promise I won't get mad if you talk. Okay. I haven't heard people ever doing that, you know, rubbing sugar on a bump and it going down. Hmm. So I don't know. You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's Moritz silk. I've never heard of Moritz silk. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen, it's soft as a baby's skin, it's light and stretchable, it breathes, and it's quite durable. 
But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs impact. At My, but you're quite the scholar. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. True. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is, your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right? All right. Yeah, so we got the key to go down to the docks and destroy the the uh, battleship. So we'll need to go back to that area where we found the guard and go to the opposite door. Either the opposite door or go down that ladder. So that, that should go down to the docks. But yeah, in the meantime, if anybody who's still looking at this time, uh, how, how's other games going for you guys? Any Anything you guys have been playing lately? I've been seeing most of my friends kind of playing some of that Stellar Blade, which is cool. Because uh, the developers of that are the same developers who made the mobile uh, gacha game, Nike, which I do play. I do play that one a lot. And, um... I believe Stellar Blade is like a near automata in a way, which is cool. I was gonna try it, but I never got, um, I mean, I just don't really have the chance to, you know, really go try it right now, but at some point I'll definitely try it, so if anybody's playing it, let me know. I haven't watched any videos on it or anything, so... I do not know anything about it. Other than that, um, I think last time I said it, but I did, um, I was playing God Year 3, and I thought I had not beat the game, but I didn't. I think there's just a little bit, a little bit left for me to do now, and then I'll be done with it. Sorry about that, I had a sneeze. But yeah, I had a little bit... I think I just got a little bit left from that one. A little bit left and then we are done. So we knocked down that boulder, we should be able to get to a path over here that was previously blocked. Maybe? I, I guess this was blocked and then the boulder just broke it. Don't even know if we're going the right way, but I mean, we're getting cat souls on the way too, so. Even if it is like the wrong way for now, we're getting cat souls and some items. Plus, we can always end up like. How do you plan to back. stop the battleship? It's equipped with large cannons. The plan is to use their gunpowder against them. So, this is the right way, so. That one other pathway might have something over there that I didn't go check, so... An exorcist Praetor? The docks are up ahead. Like it or not, we're coming through. Hey, wait! Are you intruders? I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who consort with demons. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style! Rangetsu sword style, just stand like Rokuro. Stand aside, Aizen. No, you stay back. I'll take care of this one. Sorry. This prey is mine. Let's see what he's got. He's claiming that family name style. Get in my way and I'll kill you too. You mocking the Reaper. <laughs> Oh, 
Why is that quicker? Now. We're running out of time. You folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's... I know. He's holding back. Let's go. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legged Shigure of the Abbey. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. Experience. Twin Blade Ignisite. Allows the ability to add up to two random skills to equipment on normal mode or higher. Uh, I thought that was Dao for a second there. I thought she had killed him. Is it done, Aizen? We're set. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. <sighs> well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. She get egg? I'll end up seeing that later. Yo, the Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Uh, he looks like cutting Is that you're doing? What? Is there a problem? Truly a war demon. No. A fine companion for the Reaper. Everything's ready. Let's get our gate on. <laughs> get some spy. Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder, I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushiyamada? I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why, are you interested in cooking? No. I just heard they were fine blades. Thought one would make a good gift. Don't. Kushiyamada knives are cursed. Hmm? The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. I've heard they Strange use the blood of women them. they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Such is the fate of House Vangetsu. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose. And then another thing I just now remembered that um, has happened in the meantime since like the last recording is uh, I did finish reading the Akame Got Kill manga, which was great. Uh, I, anybody who reads manga, I recommend that because it's it's completely different from the anime. It's a way better ending. Uh, characters that don't appear in the anime, you know, that they were scrapped. So I highly recommend reading that. It's 15 volumes for that one. And then I also read A Comic I Kill Zero, which is before A Comic I Kill. It's the prequel. So you get to see, like, Akame's lifestyle whenever she was in the Empire, before she joined the Revolutionary Army. That was also really good as well. That's... 10 volumes. So I'll be reading the Hinawaga Crush at some point, which is um, the sequel to a comic I kill. So Zero is basically first in the storyline, then a comic I kill, then Hinawaga Crush. But from what a friend told me, Hinawaga Crush got discontinued, so there's only, I think, 8 volumes. So, sucks, but. You know, I do want to see how that plays out a bit. All right, it's open. What was I highly that? recommend that, though. It's the Von Eltia telling us they're I'll approaching. Start reading. Hurry! 
Black Lagoon, All right. which I think we'll cop the gate open for her. To quickly. Twelve All volumes right. for English. Quickly. So I'm gonna read that next. See how that is. What you know showed in the anime. What didn't show. Um, how much further it is than the anime. That kind of stuff. If, it, if, if possible, if we ever somehow got a remake of a comeback I got killed, I really would hope they actually go the whole manga route. Because it was just so good. And now, since, since Spice and Wolf basically has a remake going on right now, and it's been like, I think, 15 years since season 2, it's nice to see a remake of such an old series come back, and hopefully it'll go all the way. Uh than it previously did. But hopefully this makes it to where we get more remakes of older animes now. So, this opens the gate. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. Alright, let's find the other device. Okay, other else? Okay, now I think we gotta go up to the other side. Yeah, other side and get that one. Nothing right there. No items there. Okay. Oh, and don't forget, we still do have Mogulu, so. <laughs> In case you've probably forgotten since the last part, yeah, we still got Mogulu. She's just not here with us. We got a cat's box here. I don't know if I missed another one back there somewhere. Bars 35, let's go ahead. Rosy cheeks. Uh, let's see. Rosy cheeks. Why not? I'll put it on. Now we got the gates open, so we can get through now. Huge gates, man. Like, I'm curious as to how long it took them to even build this. Like, was this before they had Malocks, or was this after they started using Malocks? And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von this, If this was before they the started docks. using Malocks, then that's a long time. I can't let Cat you do that. Before. This is my... This is my... This is my... Spinning three ray gauge levels will unleash an ultimate art and also provide one soul. In addition, defeating an enemy will with the mystic art will increase item drop. So now we have mystic arts. Once fired, this reverse can be used to devastate foes by holding L2 during a combo with three or more uh, break gauge. Uh, these arts ignore the combo limit and are useful in extending combos once you have reached the maximum. They also grant a soul upon use. Depending upon whether the miscard greatly increases the equipment drop rates. Here I come! So probably the main thing with this guy is, you know, since they just taught us this, you know, just use everybody's. Which I can't remember. Okay. 
Okay, we'll switch characters and we'll try to... up doing something wrong but ah well the docks are swarming with demons the von Eltia will be overrun rats we don't have long Eisen can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. <gasps> From Is there this another height? option? Eisen, Crazy. give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Eifried Way. It's a rare anime cutscene. Let's get a move on then. <sighs> Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? Still seems crazy how, with that high of a jump, it does not just break through their sails. Really weird. But right there, I think those golden ones are their mystic arts, so maybe we had to finish the um, fight to actually be able to get, you know, theirs, I guess? 
Provides the ability to trigger a random skill that increases the amount of BG gain when using a break soul. So filling this gate allows characters to unleash their hidden potential and perform mystic arts. A character that has learned a mystic art can perform it by holding L2 with three or more BG during a combo. This can extend a combo past or near limit, yada yada yada. So then that was talking about the star mastery basically on arts, so they get stronger basically. Uh, as you use them repeatedly. <sighs> Not something you would Nicely mainly need done. to do, but if you want to go maximum with these type of games. For her crafty Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. He said no. <sighs> Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading and you're shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um, what's Laffy said? <laughs> it's a name. Your name. My. So now he has a name. My name? And it's the name of Velvet. Laffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Mogilu. Yeah, definitely not Mogilu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Lafayette. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris. Logris, which I think is where we need to go. Where I think that's where we last heard Artorius was, I believe. At least on the pathway to Artorius. Now this is refreshing, sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. This won't be a problem, docking a pirate ship here? So, how were the northern seas, Aizen? Helavis and Vortigern are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. Which was the prison island we were The on. island prison overseen by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. I see. So they exchange information for mooring. Information... for mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Aizen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know you're that? there? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logres. I've never been there, though. And Velvet, your business is with mm -hmm. a man in the capital, right? We're Looks all like going we're all there. headed to the same place. 
I won't apologize for involving you. Usually, literally I'm the one who everybody says that. everybody is looking for is in that capital, which is funny. Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, we do have cooking. I forgot. Um. Um. I don't think I'm gonna cook that or waste any cooking on it. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Oh, this, that, that, um, the scouting vessel, that'll be another little, uh, mini game, I guess you can call it. So item exchange here, we can get more, um, more outfit type of stuff from these, some items as well. If we just win Tails coins from these type of, you know, game modes. So let's go ahead and check out this one. Here I come. This one I think is just break as many balloons as you can. Come on, really? I like the fastest time. 110 Tails coins for that, not bad. Slash B, let's see what we got here. Here I come. Come on, really? Or right, the score, okay, it's the score. 476 with a C plus of that. So it's better to play the slash beat if you want to get a bunch of coins for that. But we got Water Norman suit for Velvet and the hat for it. Which is kind of kind of neat. You can win some stuff from those, but um, this is what they look like. Yes, this is basically one of the mascots in the game. You will see it later on, but um, yeah. <sighs> the wind's kicking and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Then why not just set sail? Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. And we would need their permission, why? The Kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates in the sea. Aha. Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. They even created that fortress, Vortigern to help them do just that. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Pretty smart, you know, in terms of, you know, especially gathering information, but definitely puts a hold on the people. Got another cat's spirit box over here. Let's go get that. Seventy-five. And we got nothing. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's videos online as well. Probably some like documents or whatever too. That do show like, you know, the Surprised I didn't put anything back here, okay. But uh do do show the like the cat all the chests for the uh the cats. So if you ever wanted to go get those, like all of them, then you can definitely end up checking those out. On my main save, I don't know if I got all of them. Probably almost all of them, if that. They're not too hard to find, you know, just it just all comes down to if you have enough cat spirits at that time to be able to get it. Crabs are amazing, right? Oh yeah! They're delicious, boiled or grilled! Even their innards are yummy! And five sets of legs, that's so many! 
that's all true. But what really makes them amazing is their miraculous I've never ability eaten to crab, regenerate. So they can don't detach know how their own legs when a predator attacks, never been interested which lets in them get it. away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can <laughs> harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be... tasty? No idea. Ugh. No way. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, they even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorize Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship cool? left that's truly like free the is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, pirate you really cruise. seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. And that's why Ifri goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. Got an inn down here and another shop. No gathering item there. So let's get up in here. I think this is the end. Yeah, so that's the end. Anything else? We got another viewpoint. Um, yeah, get get used to having a lot of dialogue whenever we get I've to like I've heard a new there's a prison island somewhere where they keep the worst of the worst, but it's a hard tale to swallow. It's true. And the rumors that hundreds of demons are in prison there? Fact. People say that no one has ever escaped from there alive. Yes. That one's a lie. After all, we're here. Wait, you don't mean? Keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, you'll fare worse than anyone on that island. Y yes, sir. I didn't hear a thing. Yeah, every kind of little town we go to and stuff is gonna have like you know those exclamation marks to go through. It adds more to the story, though. You know the environment and everything. So it's not like useless dialogue, really. Plus, you get to hear more from the characters. So we do got new weapons here um don't think we have that for him already we do have sale items too calcite i believe everything here that's new is like calcite so we will probably end up buying everything i'll probably i'll at least keep one waistcoat because the three of them can just use it I think we have another natural waistcoat because Rokuro already has that mastered. So that should be fine there. And then Void Ring, we already got that. Already got all of that except I don't think we have a Wind Ring. And then we'll take the Calcite Boots. So just about almost like like half of our money just right there already pretty much gone but okay we got a lot of stuff to sell too if we you know need to do that eventually which at some point i'll probably end up clearing out my inventory um maybe like after i end recording an episode i'll probably just you know sell
So let's see, okay, yeah, we mastered these things now, so we can go ahead and change. That's a weird looking blade. We already mastered all of those. Calcite. Yeah, we mastered those. Fire ring almost got that. Boots. Yeah, so calcite boots. Paper. He hasn't mastered that yet. We'll go with the calcite bag for now with that one. Okay, and they're about to master theirs too, okay. Save. We're about to be coming up on the 50 minute mark. Um, I had stopped the previous one earlier because I did want, you know, I didn't want to go past the normal time I was kind of going at. And I wanted you guys to be able to see like that whole, like, anime Eisen cuts. told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? So we'll probably go We're going to explore the outer too. seas. Oh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the Outer Seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course! A map of the whole world? That's right. Ifreed's pirates have many ambitions. One of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Elti sure has already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing! You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service, would have luck, and you can keep I anything we find in our exploration. You'll be able yeah, to assign us lucky. new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph Jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure, or maybe some rare food, or brand new recipes. Hmm, that's a lot of yeah, treasure lot you of could stuff. find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time, and besides, it could be interesting. You're right. Probably okay, by the end of this playthrough, we might have all the out, treasures. I guess I can help. All right, Since then I'll we'll tell you what you need to know. So expedition has been added. You now send your scout ship on voyages to explore the outer seas and can initiate these expeditions via dispatch. You can also see we got a level up there in the top right. So we can dispatch on different like sea routes and stuff. So right here we have Layman Sea, and the required level is just level one and they have like a time limit it's it's pretty much like in like if you ever play gacha games and you send them out on to get materials or you know missions like to afk you know it's basically that scout ship setting sail so for our very first time this one's only going to be five seconds take a look at this and you have a win-win-lose ratio as well, so you can, you know, it determines your rewards and determines, I think, your XP value you also get as well. The number of victories determine the items, yep. So, like I said, they might also get special rewards like recipes, new areas, and treasures. Some treasures may provide exploration skills that will make future, future voyages go more smoothly. When activated, these skills provide various benefits, such as increasing the amount of XP earned or the number of items found. So our normal return time for this is going to be 30 minutes. So the expedition is on the way this time. The ship will return at a normal pace. Uh, take the advantage of these expeditions to help you along your adventure. So now Pretty cool we just feature wait for news. Opinion. Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me, especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly, tuna or yellowtail or sturgeon! Never heard of sturgeon, so. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty cool um, feature. 
and you can look at the area info and where you see like materials you know that's all the materials you can get in this area all the special things you can get and then you can unlock the next area if you're lucky enough so pretty cool feature um probably what i'll do is i will not move on to the next area until we get everything in the previous area so let's say if on this expedition i get the the map for the next area i'm still probably going to dispatch them here so i can get the other stuff as well but i imagine probably by the end of the playthrough we should have everything unlocked for those obviously if we're lucky enough and um if we're lucky enough and depending on how much time really we have after we do everything in this i want to say that the game may be like the, the countdown for it still goes even if you're not on the game maybe i, I don't remember but we'll see for sure Scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Its danger level has been classified as Code Red. Understood. To code I'll notify the Abbey now. we have a Code Red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right! With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a Code Red demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around 10 such demons across the territories. Oh, they sound pretty tough. That would be putting it lightly. Suffice it to say, you wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. While we're wasting time here, the Abbey is digging in. So, like you said, Demon Society's Code Red can be found around the territories. Code Red demons are especially strong. It's recommended you only engage them when sufficiently prepared. You said you Which heard one of them is pretty close island, by right? in this territory. I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogilu? Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. Weird. I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways, or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. Encounters and battles. If you initiate a battle while making contact with an enemy or from behind, you'll again a advantageous, advantageous encounter. Or you'll start with one extra soul, and enemies will start with less HP. However, the enemy hits you from behind, you'll be forced to fight a back attack encounter where you have the disadvantage of starting with one fewer soul. Da -da -da -da. At the same time, we'll initiate a perilous encounter, which has the following effects. Enemy level increases, HP restoration is reduced by one-fourth. Fling takes four times as long. Enemy reinforcements join in battle when enemies will attack more frequently. While these fights can be risky, they offer greater item drops and more grade. Why so did you come back to us? Get more I could tell you all missed me something drops. awful. We didn't. Uh, lure them to each other all. so you can fight more. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're a witch. Can't you use a spell or something? My spellcraft works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. Like a con artist needs an accomplice. I am not a con artist! I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold! Such an icy stare could freeze fire! And you don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. Do you know a trade other than magic? Nope. Uh. What is it, Lafayette? 
Um... Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is runny. The witch has no friends, <laughs> no home, and no purpose. Pity. I think what you're feeling is pity. Pity? It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. I... pity Magilu. Oh, come on! It just bully Magilu. A funny scene is coming up, though. A really funny scene. Let's just check out what we got up on this field. This is one of our actual exploration uh, areas now I think about it, because everything else has been pretty linear until this point. So we got some more uh, side parts we can kind of go to. Got chest up here. I did see another new enemy back there. Two of them, I believe. Calcite waist clothes. I didn't have to buy that one, but it's whatever. We get plenty of money anyway. Is that? Okay, I, I was thinking that that was a. Now, I think AI can do most of our children. I think it's kind of rare, though. I wish I had power like that. We'll forget about it if I were you. So let's see. Um, art. For them. So Laffy Set does not have his. Um, actually, it's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, so he doesn't have his, but he does. So they can use it on their own. I believe it's just really rare for them to actually be able to do it. how you know that they're close enough together to where you can um, fight both of them at the same time and you know have that little thing we get a lot more stuff here but my mystic art may be going to be playing that. You know, I'm not going to be using it. Was that supposed to be a joke? At some point, I might turn off their mystic art as well. That way, don't waste my time. Come on, really? I think later it's Moggy Lose. Hers is pretty funny with how it how it goes. Move it or stop. Your 
your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Yeah. Wait till he pulls out the good stuff, which is way like later. I hate these wolves because like the they don't just catch up to me. Don't really have a uh, I guess I will really go with it. Come on, really? Okay, thought there'd be something with that, but no. We can go straight on this path over here to continue. But I want to take this little detour right over here. Oh my god, he's still following me? <laughs> uh, dude, this is what sucks about the movement speed in the beginning. Tails coin. So you can find Tails coins on the ground too, as well. So, we go stat boost and curb. Up right there. Cat's box back there, I see it. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough for it. Ninety-five, almost enough. And we got the top hat. I think I had put this on the Mafia set before one of my other things. Yeah, kind of sucks because it like kind of. I mean, you could change it to hat style to make it better, but hmm. I'll keep it on. Now let's continue on the main path again. Got some other stuff here. We got wow. blockade up there too. Those walls. They're so huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of Slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then, I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking Definitely for a place. Not. All I need to find is Artorius. That's it. Little sneaky item right there. Snake, please stay away. Let's just hope these guys are insane. An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. They're definitely going to expect us. Look at us. His face is all stiff. I know. We're the weirdest people you can see. And how are you going to have an inspection, inspection when you don't expect everybody? Like, what is that? Also, funny scene. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh... Um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey? Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl! How many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. A magician? Verily! I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as... Magilou's Menagerie! 
Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to! Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. Y you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one! Act like a dove! Coo coo. <laughs> You can't advertise here! Move along! As you say! One of the best scenes ever. <laughs> that was a fine Just the boy, fact that she's, she yeah, has the guts to smack like that every day. Coo coo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Coo coo! <laughs> and she Those runs salt in the room. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the Capitol's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the Capitol? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the Capitol. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's velvet. Okay, so we're in the capital now. Um, let's see. Some gather points. We got some talking points over as well. Let's check these out. So at least a thousand exorcists in two divisions, I believe he said? Two divisions? Uh, quite a lot in a capital. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. The crown prince? I forgot that What happened to the king? <laughs> the king is in good health. But he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> this king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. So all of Midgand is on Artorius' side. The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abbey? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgand's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exorcising evil. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? And for a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The High Priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The Prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military and government Which affairs during crazy the crisis. To have that Lord Artorius power. commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to combat the Demon Blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgand Empire. The Abbey is its foundation, 
And it's Ray of Hope. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal. Yeah, so... Um... I know there's a scene about to play out right over there. I remember that one. But uh, yeah, a lot of power to give somebody who is not even part of like the royal bloodline. Yeah, they were trying to perform like a street actor, whatever, just like us. Something like that. I thought a scene played out with them, but I guess I remember wrong. But still cool to see. We're almost coming up close on like the normal time that I um that I you know do these at. So I think we'll go up in here in the end. And is there no safe? No save point in the end this time? Huh. Uh, is there a there? Yeah, there is one. So we'll go ahead and save, and then whenever we, um... Whenever we end up coming back, we might have that expedition done. That we sent out. Um, let's see, how much time does it have? Four minutes, so... If, if the timer still goes down, I don't think it does, but if it still goes down, we'll have that when we come back. Either way, we'll have it whenever we come back. So, we made it to the capital. We ended up, you know, breaking through those sea gates. Lafayette set, well, Moloch number two is now called Lafayette set. Uh, we got to see Velvet act like a dove. And we learned kind of like how I Freed Screw gets around with like the ports and everything now. So we're in the capital, gonna end up seeing the ceremony that ends up happening, and figure out where we go from there. So that's gonna be it for this part of the playthrough, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.